Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome to some more Heroes of the Storm. Today we're gonna be playing one with the one man that I can crew. Today we're gonna be playing some with Gaslow. That was a pretty good impression. <laughs> Anyone order a one man wrecking crew? Th that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. Let's play some. And welcome to the Infernal Shrines. Now it looks like today is gonna be the day of damage dealers. I've played several matches of Heroes of the Storm so far. Seems like pretty much everyone is playing a damage dealer. <laughs> we got Gasla, Zero Two, Vala, Lunara, and Nova, so we're probably not gonna be topping the damage for the team. But we also have got Nova, Zagara, Tracer, Li Ming, and Chromie on the opposing team, which is terrifying. All of these heroes are really good at taking out uh, good old Gaslo, so we're gonna try our very best to make sure that that doesn't happen, but uh, I can't promise. I can't promise to go down to several times to Mr. Nova, or Mrs. Nova, I suppose, because she's pretty good. She's pretty good at doing damage. But anyways, looks like the damage right now is in the middle lane. Immediately, obviously, this all depends on how my teammate is playing. So I guess, I guess we'll see how things end up being. Now, this hero actually used to be pretty bad, not gonna lie. I used to play him a, a, a whole lot back in the um, alpha stages of Heroes of the Storm. Some of you may remember that if you watched the videos back then. I love playing this guy, but everyone always made fun of me because he's pretty bad. He never was really particularly good, and we do pick up another, another kill there, so that's really nice. But he never really particularly was very good, and he still doesn't see a ton of play at like the highest level. But he's not considered terrible anymore. He's considered reasonably alright. And because of the turrets that I can put down, I can sort of make my own little fortress. So, the strength of this hero lies in those little turrets, and then pretty much there's some fighting going on all the time. I'm just gonna ignore it for the moment, I guess. Um, but um, I can put down these little turrets that do a lot of damage um, to enemies that are within the radius. So, as you can see right now, if anyone wants to pop in between this radius, uh, between my turrets, I'm gonna be A-OK. -okay. Now, I can also get rid of these, uh, of these little turrets just because I need some mana back, and you can use the... Uh, Salvager skill right there to do exactly that as far as the W ability goes because I can put up multiple of those turrets Obviously as far as the W ability goes, uh, it's basically a big-ass death laser that I uh, put out on the map And that deals damage my E ability is this bomb that explodes after a couple of seconds And what happens is that it will simply uh, deal damage to enemies that are caught within and obviously that's great against minions as well now It looks like so far, we are in all right position. I'm gonna be drinking from the fountain, then heading over towards the middle lane. Li Ming was in the top as well. She did miss a wave, I believe, there. So, all is alrighty. So, we're probably, like I said, not gonna be topping the hero damage. But there's a big chance we will be somewhere um, along the higher ranks here of um, of the uh, of the siege damage. Just because, well, exactly that is where we shine. Now, I'm not gonna be bothering here too much with the map object or with the... Um, oh my god. I was gonna say, like... We probably are gonna try our very best to not walk out there too far. I'm not a hero that can chase in any stretch of the imagination. Uh, really bad at doing that, but if I'm all by myself and I can get sniped, that is pretty terrifying. That is pretty terrifying. Although so far, it seems to be alright. So far, it seems to be alright. Not exactly sure where that Nova is located. I have no, like, escape mechanism whatsoever other than, like, trying to murder nerds. <sighs> Whoa. He didn't need to try and kill us in the wake of that, but... My god. My god, so much damage output. Yeah, I'm gonna have to back up here. But, like, I have no real escape other than trying to murder someone before they murder me. And because I have no, like, blink or teleportation or anything of that matter, this is crazy so far. Get him! Do a big swipe! There we go. <laughs> but I have, like, I've got very little escape and uh, very little, like, survivability in a lot of these type of games. Now, if I can set up my turrets, though, around this little objective, we may be alright. We may be able to pick up the objective, which will probably help us out a ton. As always, I will put the build that I'm playing down below in the description of the video, so if you're interested in checking that one out, I always do go ahead and put them over there. At least as long as I actually properly remembered what I'm playing, but there are several builds available on this guy right now, but it seems like pretty much everyone is running, you know, a similar setup, and the playstyle honestly doesn't really change. I guess we'll beam away a bunch of these heroes. Oh, gotta be careful. I'm not trying to do a map objective here. None of my teammates really <laughs> are. I guess we all have our role. Man. I'm gonna have to back up here. There is a Nova there. Oopsie daisies. Making a little dodge for it. We almost gotten the map objective done though. Come on. We need to do this. We need to do this. I think we can. Oh, no. there we go. Oh my god.
Man. Okay, there we go. Did do the map objective. Oh, it's gonna cost me my life, probably. <gasps> we are still up. How are we still alive here? Oh, what? <laughs> the Envenom finds killing the last little tiny bit there. Three damage overkill. Come on, that couldn't have been any closer. Anyways, normally these kind of games, it's best to go for the engine gunk. Just because it will slow enemies down. But because all of my team is great at chasing anyway, and because we are all about burst damage, I think it's alright to go for the Rocket Turret XL here, that will increase the damage a little. We did do the map objective, by the way, which should give us a nice little experience lead at the very least, but... So far, this map has been wild, and this is usually obviously what happens when you have these, you know, XP heavy type- or these, these like, damage dealing heavy type games, right? Where you're just simply constantly focusing on map objectives, and you're trying to do work, but... I am not gonna be joining these team fights all the time, guys. Let's try and get 10, guys. Oh my god, they just want a team fight, don't they? Which is fine, but like I I am I am not really capable of doing very much before having my gravel bomb up. So the gravel bomb is gonna be a like a big ass bomb that I can put up at level 10. The cooldown on it is ridiculously long. So that is something to keep in mind in that regard as well. But so far, if they let me, right? If they let me do this, I think I'm just gonna join in. Although Nova, or I was gonna look at the mini map right there, Chromie and Zagara ditch his head towards middle. Not sure if they're trying to get to me, but I'm gonna kill that real quick, then get out. Zagara actually went back once again. I don't know if they're trying to kill me. Maybe they're just letting me do whatever I please, which I much appreciate. Obviously, I don't know where their Nova is currently located, but I mean, I'm just doing the map objectives, and we'll head over there once again once we get the map objective, but. If I can do a push like that, I'm gonna be A-OK. -okay. So I did, did get two of the towers down, that's nice. Uh, Rocket Turret XL, by the way, just increases uh, the amount of damage you can do with your uh, with your little turrets. Which is really nice, basically it like now hits multiple targets. Considering they have so many few or so many low HP targets, I think it's a fine choice. But here we do get the Grava Bomb. Nice little experience lead on our end. Not too much of it, obviously, but new objective should be available in a matter of minutes. Or a matter of seconds, really. Now you can see, by the way, the strength of that, but the shrine will be active soon. Okay. That was my ult right there. You can queue it up really nicely with your E ability. I tried uh, setting up a combo right there for the team instead. Gotta be careful, there's a Nova running around. I saw a little, little blurry fission there. Anyway. I'll just start uh, hitting away at these minions. Try and see if we can uh, bait someone into my turret range. You may actually focus on a turret build. Normally I focus on an E-focused one. At least as of late, but... I think we may be better off just focusing on a turret one instead. Just because uh, because of all the zoning we do with that, right? Like, they don't really want to active... Or like, they don't really want to sit on our map objectives whatsoever. Okay. Gonna drink from the fountain real quick. Oh man. Oh man, no! Whew. Wait, did I drink from it? I did. Good. Man! Whoa, whoa, whoa! What are you doing, dude? Get him, turrets! Oh wait, actually, that's a fake one. Well done. They may very well be able to grab the objective now. That was pretty terrifying, not gonna lie. I can't really do very much here, but I can try and prevent them from pushing in, I suppose, with my turrets. Like, the thing about the turrets is that once you set up shop, they can do a lot. Before that, it's pretty difficult to make it work. They're still trying to grab it, though. We need to try and grab the, uh, the shrine from them. They're all extremely low HP. I got my ultimate now. So I'm trying to use everything together there. As you can see, like... Oh, man. Oh, get out of there! Oh! <laughs> once again! Once again, Zagara coming in with, like... 13 damage there, with 27 overkill. Oh, man. We can't prevent dying, but if we can, you know, make it so that we can grab the map objective, that'd be good. Good job, good job, good job. So we won't be do we won't be- we won't be topping the hero damage here, right? We're getting a little bit more than Lunara so far, so that's pretty good. But, if we can grab the map objectives, I think that's- that's all we can really hope for. I'm gonna go ahead and do the, uh, the bruiser camp right now. Uh, this hero is one of the very best when it comes to soloing, like, camps in general. 
Uh, you can solo pretty much all of them. You can even, I believe you can solo like boss camps at like level, I don't know exactly what the level is, but I think you can solo them at like level 7, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, we'll just try and do as much damage here as possible. And uh, we'll just try and be the guy from the team that is focusing on uh, on doing uh, a little bit more work. Um, I'm trying to consider which one I should go for. Nah, we'll, we'll just go for the extra large bomb still. I think it's probably still the best, the best talent here. You can also focus on turret storage or on sprint even. I'm not gonna bother with sprint as I probably am not capable of running away from any of these guys anyway. It's all about positioning and like team fights and trying to burst people down. Okay. We do need to stay together though. Oh god. Oh come on, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. I don't know where Nova is. I'm a little scared. I'm gonna back. This is a scary idea. <gasps> that Q almost got her. There we go. Sagara! How did Sagara think she could attack our towers? What a rookie mistake. <laughs> Alright. Saratul does end up falling here as well though. There's already 19 kills on both teams. At 11 minutes into the game. That is a kill and a half every minute. For both teams. That's ridiculous. Man oh man. So I can combo my, my E and my R really easily. Obviously though, against people that can teleport and blink and whatnot, it's pretty difficult to pull that off. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make sure she has used all of her abilities like that before really activating that shenanigans. Whoa. Did she just grab that? That was really impressive, actually. Gotcha. That's the combo right there that we're talking about, by the way. The combo between the E and then the R as well. Although, ugh, I'm being, uh, <laughs> I'm being hunted right now. Lunara like my wombo combo. Ideally, we do that with multiple heroes, obviously, but... Guys, the map objective in the top. <laughs> We're fighting on the middle shrine. We're fighting on the middle shrine while there is a, uh, a map objective at the top one. My god, you're so risky, Jack. <laughs> so terrifyingly close to dying. <laughs> okay, we'll just put our turrets up again. This is why I was considering getting the extra turret charges out, so we can make like a lot of extra turrets here. But I think it is fine like this as well. An extra wombo combo potential with my E is probably better. I'm not gonna focus on the team fight, guys. I'm sorry. I know many of you would like to see me fight here, but I think it makes a lot more sense to grab the map objective right now, because honestly, at level 16, they will start dealing a lot of damage. The first ones may not be that, impo uh, that important, but these ones are pretty good. So we get the uh, quick release charge. Quick release charge does allow us um, to get a second charge of the E. It's really good. Obviously, that means more bombs, more zoning, more damage. But there we do grab the objective, and they barely grabbed anything themselves, so this will push in hard. Okay, so this fort is dead for sure. Recycling a couple of my turrets again. Oh well. Wombo combo! Poop! Ah, oh, no poop this time around. I was gonna say, like, she's dead anyway, right? I should have probably not risked that, but. Good job, Jack. Jack listening to my pings like a total boss. Although it didn't really make that much sense anymore at this time, because I wanted to push with the several camps all at once. I'm really low in HP now as well. Do we stay around? I think we should leave. I think, uh, I think we should leave, guys. Guys, leave, dude. What the heck? Dudes! Crazy! You guys are crazy, not gonna lie. I'm just gonna leave, I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> Lunara just stuck around there till the very end. She was like, nope! <laughs> Kill or be killed. 
Which works out in, in, in their favor, I guess. I'll just once again focus on the little creep camps. This is also, I guess, the reason why it's considered like a one-man wrecking crew. That's why he says that constantly. Uh, probably because uh, of the work that you can do uh, on the camps and, you know, basically... As far as dueling goes, in a straight-up engagement, if you wouldn't be moving, there's no way you're ever gonna be able to take out this hero. Now, we are two levels ahead. That doesn't necessarily mean, though, that we're gonna win here. My god. Oh, nice! That doesn't necessarily mean we're in a great spot, though. Because obviously there is a, uh... There is still a lot of damage output from the opposing heroes as well. And just one bad engagement for us, or like one team wipe for us. And that is game over for sure. Well, not necessarily, but at the very least they will... <laughs> they will be able to even up the score a lot easier. She tried sticking the ult there to me, how dare she? Okay, we got our combo again. Don't really know exactly when they are all gonna have their uh, abilities ready to go. So I guess I'll just set up my turrets now. I wanted to set up the Wombo combo here. I can easily pick off Zagara with that alone, but... She doesn't have Bolt of the Storm until 20. She's a great objective for this. Nah, that's a fake one, dude. Oh god. Oh no! Oh man, that's unfortunate. I hope it could be sneaky there. I still have my Wombo combo, guys. I'll wait for the fight. Alright, fine. Oh no. Ah, oh, that's me done. I can, I can try and murder her. Did get my ults off. Oh my god, nice! I would like to say that that was worth it. I would like to think that was, that was worth it. We at the very least got the counter kill on her immediately, right? So that's that's at the very least one thing that they can't take away from me. We did also manage to push in the camp, by the way, or with the camp in the top lane, I've just noticed, like the Bruiser camp. I think walked all the way through the top lane, started pushing in the uh, the keep there. So that's pretty good. Oh my god, Zeratul is having a field day. Zeratul, you're so dirty. That was, that was well played, that was well played. Anyways, we'll pick the miniature black hole right now, basically increasing my uh, my Wombo combo potential. It basically just increases the range a lot, and you can much easier grab people that are also like, mounted up and stuff. Although I'm afraid... What? How did you get out of there? I was gonna say, I'm afraid that Nova is never gonna be able to sustain herself there, but... Slowly but surely... It looks like this is a game that is ours to lose. We, by the way, are wearing one of the most scary skins in the game. As you may have already noticed, that, that skin is absolutely awful and beautiful at the same time. Nobody likes clowns. Let's be real here. Okay. So we should have this map objective secured. Ideally, we'd like to, or I'd like to do a couple of the bruiser camps here as well, but... Or a couple of the, not the, the bruiser camps. The siege camps. Okay. These will push all together, so it should be nice. You can group up the other uh, camp as well. So that should be uh, that should be the f oh I saw that thing go down. Whatever, not a big deal. Um, we should be able to kill the fort in the middle lane right now too. So there's that. I got my Wombo combo here ready to go. Not gonna be using another E here until I can try and get it off. Unless I get the second charge of my E ready to go immediately. Oh man. So much so much burst. Oh. I'm alive! 50 HP! No! No way! <laughs> well, it's alright. It's alright. I did end up falling there. The fort is gonna end up falling here in the middle as well with the camp that we took out. And it looks like slowly but surely this is ending up in our favor here, but not without like... Mid's plays those. Oh my god, she actually queued up her ult there. Right on top of me. So you can see like damage wise, we're actually, we're actually right above Vala, which I don't think has to do much with Vala. 
are with us, but probably more to more so to do with Vala. But we are mostly a nuisance, right? Like I haven't been joining nearly as many team fights as my teammates have. Um, I am not like throwing in uh, in multi shots from different angles just to try and get a little bit of extra work in. I'm just trying to uh, I'm just trying to do the map objectives, take all of the camps and whatnot. We should group up now. Just walk as five. Just pointing out that that probably is going to be the easiest way to win. Don't fight 4v5, not worth it. I don't think it's worth it to fight like that at all. Okay. CC bro? I don't know exactly what that means. I think he means like the soft drink that kind of says like, like tastes like Fanta. Or he means like yes yes. Or he's calling me a sissy. I'm not exactly sure. There's several options available here. I'm okay with all of them. I'm assuming here he's just meaning like, yes, yes. But... Okay. Nah, uh, she's never gonna go down, dude. Unless you can get the sickest triple taps, yeah. Ooh. Zero two is here. My god. Guys! Are we going to fight together or what are we going to do? Yeah, I hope we would fight together here, but this is not going to happen, is it? Oh my god, that is one way to like lose the game, guys. That is one way to lose the game. Someone way overextended and all of a sudden, we got an entire team wipe. So, remember that part that I just said about like having one team wipe and then losing the game? I mean, this wasn't quite a team wipe yet, and we haven't quite lost the game yet, but... Oh my god, this was really, really bad for us. I hope we would try and engage uh, all, at, all at once, but... Uh... Oh man. Oh man, Lunara also having some, some technical difficulties, apparently. Making it really hard for us to get anything done. Oh man. No, 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 don't die, please. Okay, he's gonna be forced to ult there just to try and get out of trouble. And while we are starting to do damage to their core, and they are forced to defend this, and while it's not game over just yet, Lunara apparently can't play. She's also not turned into a bot yet. Oh man, I hope she, she like closed out the game and didn't just like press the button on her computer. If she pressed the button on her computer, it's gonna take several minutes before the inactivity is noticed. Oh no, no, there she is. Alright, alright. Okay, well, we're gonna need a little bit of luck now. We're gonna need a little bit of luck now and, well, properly, uh, proper play, primarily. Start throwing away the quick charges once again, just to zone them out. Oh man, she's going really far. Yeah, there we go, that was good for us. That was a good fight, actually, for us. I'll drink from the fountain real quick. And actually, what was gonna be a de like a, a, a debuff for us, or like a, a disadvantage for us before, is now turning into something that could potentially win us the game. We did just do the counter team wipe, I suppose, which is nice. If I take out this Bruiser camp as well, I think that could be extremely helpful. And I think this is indeed, like my ally is saying, GG well played. I'll put in the Bruiser camp here as well at the top, just to uh, make sure that we get a little bit more work in, a little bit more damage output. I'm hoping that someone is going to help me there, but sadly, looks like I'm all by myself for this camp. We do end up taking it. I could let the turrets, like, you know, tank a little bit more of the damage, but... Oh well, we're all by ourselves now. We did manage to do that by ourselves as well. It's going to push in. It could potentially give us the extra little bit of damage that we need. I'm gonna have to be careful here though, cause one snipe and I am done for. Well, help please! Oh, no way dude! No way! Well, I guess that also doesn't help us out, but here the camp comes in that we try taking there. The boss is gonna start hitting their core. The bruiser camp has arrived and indeed this is going to be game over! So a little bit of a wonky game, a little bit of a damage heavy game. But I hope you enjoyed watching anyway. I want to thank you all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile alright. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!